Susan Gerbic here from Psychic Explained. I'm going to read something to you from Agatha Christie. I love Agatha Christie. It's a very short passage. I think it's a good example. Let me remove my bookmark here. Okay, so this is the story called The Adventure of the Western Star. So what's going on is... Hercule Poirot has left the room. He's out doing something, sending telegrams or something. And Hastings is left in the apartment. And Hastings is kind of like a Watson character where, you know, kind of foolish. And he's the, he's used to explain things, to uh, have Poirot to be able to... Um, explain the story to i mean because you've got to have that in these murder mysteries right of course so in walks a woman her name is lady yardley so in comes a woman and he says to her do sit down lady yardley i said drawing forward a chair my friend perot is out but i know for a fact he'll be back shortly she thanked me and sat down and then he talks about what she looks like and everything. And he's, she's very attractive, of course. And she has auburn hair, which is, you know, his weakness. So Hastings says, I felt a desire to rise to the occasion. Why not? In Perot's presence, I have frequently felt a difficulty. I do not appear at my best. And yet there is no doubt that I, too, possess possess the deductive sense in a marked degree, I leant forward on a sudden impulse. Lady Yardley, I said, I can't do a British accent. I know why you have come here. You have received blackmailing letters about the diamond. There was no doubt as my bolt having shot home, she stared at me open mouthed, all color banished from her cheeks. You know, she gasped, how? I smiled. By a perfectly logical process, if Miss Marvell has had warning less, less letters, Miss Marvell, she's been here. She has just left. As I was saying, if she, as the holder of one of the twin diamonds, has received a mysterious series of warnings, you, as the holder of the other stone, must necessarily have done the same. You see how simple it is? Am I right then? You have received these strange communications also? For a moment, she hesitated as though in doubt whether to trust me or not. Then she bowed her head in assent with a little smile. That is so, she acknowledged. The reason why I'm reading that little passage too is because I absolutely adore Agatha Christie. <laughs> but that's not the reason. Because this is something that often happens in readings. When it's recounted later, this exchange, it's recounted as Hastings would have said to Perot, ah, Miss uh, Lady Yardley was here and she told me all about these letters, these anonymous letters that she had received and that they came and um, were threatening to steal the diamond from her. And Perot would have said, oh, my gosh, her too. And then the whole story is a mess because, you know, things happen. You know how these things happen. But in actuality, that's not what happened, is it? Now, you guys just heard me read this. That's not what happened. What happened was Hastings wants to show off. He knows that there are these mysterious letters out there. And because Lady Yardley also has one of these diamonds and she shows up on the same day that the actress Mary the actress whoever the other just all of a sudden blinked on her name she has just left and she had said she had had all these anonymous letters saying that her diamond was going to be stolen stolen so Hastings showing off gives her all the information and Lady Yardley, who has her own secrets, she just said, oh, yeah, that's that's right. And she just was quiet. And here comes uh, Hastings with more and more information. And she's like, oh, yeah, that too. 
And he gives her more information. She says, yeah, that's exactly what I was talking about. And he gives her more information. And she just says, absolutely. Yes, that is what happened. So this is what happens with readings. The person who's getting the reading does not realize how much information they're giving to the medium. They want to have um, the reading. They want to be on the right track. They want to make sure that it's confirmed that it's the person that they really, really want to be in touch with. And they can't help but give feedback. It's it's just nearly impossible to sit there stone face and say nothing and without any twitches on your face or anything. And let me tell you this. These mediums have had thousands and thousands of readings. They can read you. It's it's. It's not, you can't pretend, you can't, I mean, unless you're some amazing actor, you're not going to be able to pretend for long. Well, I mean, I've done it, but it's not like a, a great trick when somebody's hot reading, they already have the information. Cold reading for some of these people who are really paying attention, it's harder to, to pretend. And if you're sitting there stone-faced, they're just going to say, it's gone. I don't know just not feeling it strongly with you. Here's your money back <laughs> or I'm moving over to the next person. So if you're trying to not give feedback, they're just going to move on to somebody else or say they're gone. So my point is, is that when you are getting a reading, you give far more information than you realize you're giving. And so the medium just has to agree, repeat back what they just said to you, or you say, oh, that's exactly what I'm hearing. And then by the time it's repeated to other people, I had this marvelous reading by Medium Hastings, and he told me all of these fabulous things. Well, actually, that's not what happened. He didn't tell you fabulous things. You told it. And nobody will be able to change your mind. So unless you have a transcript or, uh, or a, I'm not talking about notes. Don't take notes. I mean, it's nice to take notes, but I'm talking about unless you have a recording or a video, like over Zoom or something like that, we can't trust what it is that you say happened. It just isn't going to be good enough. We need really tight evidence before we could even begin to say, oh, there's possibly something there. So all these commenters that are on my channel, and I've heard for years about, oh, there's no way they could have known, or you weren't there, or you should have had a reading, or blah, 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 blah. I know what I heard. I have news for you. You don't know what you heard. You absolutely 100% do not know what you heard. I'm sorry. That's nothing to do with intelligence. It has nothing to do with necessarily memory. It's just how our brains work. And when you're motivated and you want so badly to hear what it is that the medium is saying, and you're so badly want to be in contact and you so badly want to continue the conversation and not for them to get distracted and go to somebody else, the motivated sitter is going to continue continue giving information if it's not just if it's not verbally by saying yeah that must be my dad he died a few years ago or it could be my brother he died in a motorcycle accident or your face or your your body your your coloring as you you know get very red or you pale or your hands or just your your body language your face expressions your voice it gives it away these people are really, really good at what they do. Well, most of them are. I've seen an awful lot lately. I don't know what's going on. Either I'm finding really awful readings just lately or something. Maybe I've just been doing this too long, which is about a year now on uh, YouTube. So thank you, everybody who's stuck around. Please like, please share. Let's grow this group. and. Every time you like and share and subscribe to the videos that I have, what it does is it builds um, the algorithms that allows YouTube to give, uh, suggest this to more people. So I appreciate it if you would do those um, free things 
like, share, subscribe, and leave me lots of comments because you know I like my comments. Thanks, everybody.